All right, let's get some grub. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Uh, you know me too, I have to say that. When I was a teenager, I used to go to diners all the time with my uh, my friends from like, high school. But uh, now these days I barely ever go. In fact, where we live, we live, technically we live in or in the very outskirts of Seattle. There really aren't any diners. That's something I miss. I actually like diners and diner food, and there is no diner really in our area, which sucks. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Why is it apocalyptic? What? Affordable luxury homes. Come, I see. They're trying to change all the, the way that the town is. They're going to build all these luxury homes. Oh, that brings back memories. <clears throat> Chloe and I loved the parade. Hmm. This fucking guy. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Wow. Now let me mourn over my eggs. You're a fucking dickhead. Weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Oh Enjoy no, she's from Canada. Day. She's from Canada. Stay away from her. She's a weirdo. <laughs> oh man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Ugh. This guy has serious coronas. Join the Cousteau's All Day Sea Adventure. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna read these leaflets. These are pretty silly. Poster. <clears throat> the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. It's the Academy. Yep, Blackwall Academy. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Oh, that's fucked up. What does it say? Arcadia Thank Gay you, Sucks Redneck Poet. Arcadia Gay Sucks Deck? What? Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Uh, what does this one say? I can't read it. I. I. Something to misbehave. Rachel Gross. A. Rachel A owes me a, ble a BJ, so does your mom. Fire walk with me. Fire walk with me! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a reference to Twin Peaks. This is a massive reference to Twin Peaks. Take a photo. Trophy compressed. Yeah, that is that is a quote from uh, Twin Peaks. I think that was the name of the movie they made, too. Wow, that's pretty cool. Twin Peaks reference. It's the dude. Talk what do you to the want? Dude. I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. You need a Let belt for those pants. Quietly. Look, his ass is hanging out of his fucking pants. Well, it's a cop. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Mmm. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. <laughs> we take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Whoa. Our wife. Yes. We all take turns. Whoa! I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. We all take turns on Joyce, treating her like a respectable, independent, hardworking, beautiful woman. We don't do anything inappropriate. That's what I meant to say. So, Sorry. you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh-oh. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce huh. didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as huh. if I would. 
I just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is uh. she a friend of yours? <clears throat> I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. Ah. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. No, we don't. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's <clears> all <throat> I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Yeah, I wonder what the, what the RV guy has to do with anything. We're gonna find out, I'm sure. Where's Chloe? Oh, she's not here yet, I guess. A trucker? I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Yeah, and I gotta... Over now. I gotta deliver a load of shit to the toilet. <laughs> uh, hello? Pardon moi, but Ugh. you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. <laughs> How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, diet carrying pills. two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Uh, jeez. Trevor and who? Justin. From Trevor to Justin, I love you. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Oh my Nobody god. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. <laughs> Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. <laughs> you should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Oh! Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Well, he'll be lucky if he actually did hook up, considering he landed on his fucking balls with the skateboard last episode. I'm surprised he could even get it up. I'm surprised his junk even functions at this point. What's this? Nothing? Oh, here, sit at the booth and wait for a Chloe. What do we got here? That's funny. <clears throat> Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. Oh. Look at the picture. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Who the hell is Ken Kesey? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. The fishing wall of fame, look at this. Into the kitchen, make your own food. Ooh, desserts. Ooh, what <clears throat> everything. Yummy. Guitar tune. That sounds like shit. I can't change it now? No, I'm stuck with this. I wanted the banjo tune. I got tune. you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. I got you, babe. Damn it, I can't play the banjo music now. <clears throat> I wanted banjo music. There she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. What? You mean I'm ugly? <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. 
She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. <laughs> I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. He's a shithead. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... No, he's yeah, not. I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm mm. glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. <clears throat> well, you know, she understands. Just that you're an idiot and you married a dumb fuck. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. He will be but punished, Chloe does yeah, right. Push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Uh -huh. Oh, so now he gets to slap he girls, I see. Her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Yes, let's just. Let's just say this: because he was in a war, now he can slap teenage girls around whenever he wants. Let's just let's just you know justify everything. Why doesn't he just do cock windmills in front of people in the street? He was in a war, right? So he could do that. Fucking bullshit. <clears throat> he cares about Kate Marsh. David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner. You know. Wow, you're an idiot. Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? A bacon omelet or a Belgian waffle? I would probably want the bacon omelet. But she probably wants the Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. Told you. So... Bring it on. There you go. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. <clears throat> There's graffiti. This? Warren must have been here. Yeah, Warren? You see, she thinks that's Warren, huh? Coffee. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Hmm. Golden waffle and fried fish, eight seventy-five. Who would want a fried fish with their waffle? That's kind of weird for breakfast. Huh. A breakfast cheeseburger? What the hell? <laughs> Ugh. Can I get some, some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep like going back in time. Hmm. Early in the morning, take your fucking pants off, walk the out, but so naked. Yeah. Mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Hmm. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Sex with women, I sex can hear your with adults. Yeah. From here, Max. Oh. Here, you'll love this. Nice. That was quick. I'm drooling like must, a baby. Must be an instant Belgian waffle Still considering they made it in a second. A woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. It's the heat special, the yeah, yeah, yeah. 
The Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody mm -hmm. needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God. Here, here we go. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> one slice. You guys Look at this girl with her fucking blue hair. I'm a goddamn hick and I love to swear it's a fucking country song. Good, please change this shit, thank you. Now that that's out of the way. <clears throat> Here we go. Wow, yeah! Let's talk about your superpower. Rock music, I don't motherfucker. have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come hmm. on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh, I guess we gotta guess, alright. 